welcome back in the previous video we are generating our generating our qr codes and displaying them on the home page right and if you want to generate a unique qr code like we did this in the register controller we are uh, if i go to the register controller so this one so it's uh, generating the name right so if user have same name like i registered the that Niazi and some other user came here and it's having the same name that Niazi. so how to differentiate the uh, their qr code so you can uh, either pass the the name uh, instead of name you can pass the email which is unique or you can add some random uh, integer number here it will uh, specify it will add some random number with the uh, with the name of uh, this uh, qr code and it will not generate the same right and um, uh, you can also uh, do this here like uh, str and then you can add this uh, a random str here with this name but if you don't want to generate this uh, unique so you can just pass this same right okay uh, so now let me remove this how uh, set this one goes up here we are basically uh, displaying all of the user and now the time is to uh, generate a pdf file right so just go here here we have a, a pdf load view where we can load our pdf and then we can download it instantly right okay so now let's load this how to here pdf equal pdf and then load view and in the load view here we i pass this so uh, um, and then i want to pass this so uh, users right and uh, then i want to download uh, pdf um, download and i want to name this qr code uh, pdf and then i want to assign this dot to uh, dot png Oh, not png it would be the pdf comment this line and return this out uh, return this out like this and here we need to also add this at the top so let me go here choose the vdh use this at the top like this and uh, give it a refresh it says load argument must be type of array uh, collection given okay so uh, by default when you are passing your array to this load view so it's uh, uh, not accepting like this so it's mentioned like this you need to pass this so here similar as i passed but i already experienced with this one because i shooted this uh, full playlist on it that uh, how you can generate the pdf using blades and uh, how to send this pdf into the mail and stuff like that so that's why I already faced this issue. Here you need to pass this like oops, let me move this dollar sign to pass this users key and then you need to pass this so users um, collection, right? Save this one and uh, go back, give it a refresh here. Okay, and yes, QR code is generated and it is playing that Dayat Niazi, Caleb Kurs, and Keegan Roth right so we are displaying all of these uh, qr code and uh, now i want to display this qr code on the separate page this one is on the separate page and this one is on the separate page so how to do this so now just to go back and here how to uh, create the page break in the pdf so this one is a styling page break page break after always so just to go to this uh, blade here add uh, some uh, uh, section style basically i want to now render the style into the parent one so that's why i did this style here but if you are confusing something to add this uh, without this one right so here just type this uh, uh, page break page uh, break and then we need to page uh, break uh, Page break uh, always. Uh, let me check this out. Page break after always. Yes, correct. And then you need to call this out here. Uh, I want to 
assign a page break div and assign a class of page break as finished as in the style sheet save this one and give it a refresh uh, not here I need to go to this uh, home and I'm going to call this home so it will not display the error on the second side even we are generating a video file yes generated a video file and generated this QR code on the one page this one is on the second page and this one is on the third page right so uh, it is playing on the fourth uh, fourth and fourth page because uh, it's iterating it is playing these uh, on the one two three page so here after this we need to uh, add this above it will not add this so uh, after break oh, this one oops Um, yes, done. First, second, and third. Yes, it's not just in this one. You can also skip the first one, right? So, uh, how to uh, make this uh, go down here? And uh, here now it's uh, also getting a page break, right? Uh, you can use this so take take uh, take uh, before after I'm using this after so maybe use inside where work what we are want to achieve but you need to play around a little bit and it will tell you that how to do this so let's open this out PDF. Oh, it's not adding uh, space, right? So uh, before is good. It's uh, generating adding the space. So, but uh, you can uh, search a little bit that how to skip the first one, or you can how to make the specific uh, uh, specific page uh, layout uh, by defining its path, and then it will generate only specific. A specific uh, page layout right but the main thing is uh, uh, let me check the video size okay but the main thing is uh, someone asked this that I need to generate the uh, generate the QR code uh, or uh, I want to generate the QR code and then uh, uh, generate its certificate basically the question is uh, let me go back again here so this uh, OG design guy had this comment that auto generate certificate app with unique QR code on each generated certificate for registered name for MySQLi. So now it's getting the name from the MySQLi, generating the QR code, displaying them on the each page. So here you can add the certificate value, all of the, your values here, and then you can uh, print the certificate, uh, print the QR code and uh, all of the things here so in this way you can generate the certificates I hope you get an idea that uh, how to do this and uh, also if you like this video and want to support me so subscribe this channel and share my videos with your friends so i will shoot more course like this so thank you so much for watching this one bye, -bye guys